Hello everyone, how are you today? Welcome back to my channel. This is Dr. Education. I am Dr. Paramjeet. I am a consultant physician, cardiologist in Yashoda Super Speciality Hospital, Nehru Nagar Ghaziabad, Delhi NCR. And this is my channel here. I make uh, simplified medical explanation videos and I teach you about health and healthcare topics. And there are a lot of videos already made on my channel and you can check them out, browse for your favorite topics and I am sure you'll find some very, very authentic and very useful information about your healthcare concerns on my channels and if you do don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell icon because that's how you'll receive the next upcoming video and don't forget to share the videos today's topic is what are the medical conditions what are the situations where you have a higher risk of developing kidney stones what are the medical conditions which leads to kidney stones so uh, last time we had seen uh, what are kidney stones what are the type of kidney stones we have seen the four types of kidney stones, calcium, uric acid, cysteine and uh, struvite stones. We have seen what are the symptoms and signs of kidney stones, how they are treated, what problems they can cause. So today we are going to see what are the medical conditions which actually cause kidney stones. So let's start. If you want to know about health and have health concerns, then subscribe to my channel and hit the bell icon you'll be notified about all upcoming videos. So guys, as we have seen, kidney stone or a urinary tract stone can develop because of a blockage in the urinary tract. That's one of the main reasons. Now, this blockage can be because of external pressure or a stricture or some kind of infection causing to a stricture. Then there can be kidney stone in cystic kidney diseases. These are disorders that can cause fluid filled sacs to form inside the kidneys like polycystic kidney disease. So cystic kidney diseases also have a higher risk of stones. Then if you have gastrointestinal bowel inflammation problems, if there is a chronic or a long lasting inflammation of your bowels of your GI tract that can also increase your risk of kidney stones. Then obviously cysteine urea, having high cysteine in your urines as we have seen and then gastrointestinal surgeries or a problem of digestive system, digestion, digestion problems, indigestions, then people will having gout, high uric acid in their uh, blood, very high uric acid can lead to gout that uh, gout is basically uric acid deposition on the small small joints which can lead to arthritis painful swelling of the smaller joints especially of the toes the great toe is the most typical one then hypercalciuria if there is very high calcium present in your urine that is a condition this condition actually runs in the families in which the urine contains usually a very high amount of calcium and this is the most common condition found in people who form calcium stones. So calcium stones are one of the most common types of stones. Then there is oxalate stones which are basically joining, uh, which are basically combining with calcium to form calcium oxalate stones. So hyperoxaluria that means high oxalic acid oxalate in the urine where that can lead to calcium oxalate stones. Then hyperparathyroidism. A condition which the parathyroid gland some these are four small small glands present behind the thyroid and these release a parathormone parathyroid hormone which causes increase in the calcium in the blood so if you have a dysfunction that means higher amount of these hormones that means your blood will have very high amount of calcium and that can increase your risk sometimes there is hyperuricosity hyperuricosuria then obesity can lead to a risk of uh, kidney stones. Then obviously we have seen uric acid levels if they are very high in the urine that can also lead to uric acid stones and that is called as hyperuricosuria. Then obviously we have seen in the last video that recurrent urinary tract infections, repeated infections in the urinary tract, kidneys or bladder can lead to stones. Then renal tubular acidosis. This is a disease which occurs when the kidneys fail to remove the acid into the urine which causes the person's blood to retain too much acid. So that is a renal tubular acidosis which again is a risk factor for kidney stones. 
then people who take certain medications they are more likely to develop kidney stone then these medications are diuretics these are often called as water pills these pills they help you get rid of excess amount of body water from your body they basically excrete more and more amount of water in the urine that can lead to dehydration and therefore increase your risk of kidney stones the second thing is calcium if you are taking very high amounts of calcium supplements without any need if you are taking antacids which are based on calcium that can increase your risk then there is a medication called indinavir it is a protease inhibitor which is used to treat hiv infection that can increase your risk then there are certain other anti convulsion anti seizure medications especially something called as topiramate so these are a few medications which can increase your risk of developing kidney stones so all these diseases are there which can lead to a problem in the kidney or in the urinary tract or in the function of urinary tract either structurally or functionally they can lead to a problem and increased deposition of all these types of minerals causing stones and then lead to problems so if you have a kidney stone or if you have a family history of kidney stone then you need to get evaluated for all these conditions and that would be done by a urologist which will actually do a thorough physical examination a complete medical history and a routine blood test and checkups and even sonography and uh, imaging studies on you to check out what kind of risk factors you have and then we will formulate a plan for you to actually tackle your risks as well as your problems of kidney stones so that's all for today guys i hope you like the video next time i'm going to talk about the diet in kidney stone diet which is used to treat as well as prevent kidney stones so hope you are liking the videos and don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell icon don't forget to share the videos to your friends and family i hope you're doing that for me and till next time stay connected stay healthy